Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ritika Gaba, your one and only PhD mentor, advisor and trainer. And today in this video, we are going to talk about the PhD program of India's best university and the topmost research institute of India. This institute goes by the name of Indian Institute of Sciences, Bangalore. And it was ranked as the best university and the best research institute by the NIRF rankings of 2022. Now, IASC Bangalore was actually the brainchild of an industrialist, Mr. Jamshed Ji Tata, who's the founder of Tata Group, the leading industrial conglomerate of our country. Now, Mr. Tata believed that for the economic and social upliftment of a country, for the social and economic development of a country, it is important that we invest in scientific research and in higher education. And therefore, he wanted to establish a world-class university. He started making the efforts towards achieving his dream from the year 1890. And finally, on the 27th of May, 1909, after facing a lot of hurdles, our IISC Bangalore was established. Since its establishment, this university has given us some of the world's leading scientists and researchers. Sharing with you names of some of these researchers, Mr. Vikram Sarabhai, the founder of India's space program, Homi J. Baba, the founder of India's nuclear program, the meteorologist Anamani, the biochemist and nutrition expert Mr. Kamla Sohni, the solid state and material scientist CNR Rao are just some of the names, some of the great scientists that this institute has given us. So let us now find out about the research program of this prestigious institute. You know, who can pursue a PhD and how can you pursue and in which subjects can you pursue a PhD from IISC? And let us start by addressing this as our first question. So IISC Bangalore offers a PhD program in three broad domains. The first is engineering, followed by sciences, and the last is interdisciplinary research. Under interdisciplinary research, some of the areas or sub areas in which it offers research are artificial intelligence, cyber physical systems, water research, climate change, and so on. Remember, these are three very broad areas. Within each areas, we have multiple subjects, some areas, research areas. So basically anything related to science engineering would be offered by IISC. So now that we know the areas in which you can apply for a PhD program, let us move on to understanding what qualifications do you require. So IISC will let you pursue a PhD if you have at least 55% marks and a master's degree or 55% marks and a four-year graduation degree. I'm sure that all of you are assuming that you need to have a master's degree in engineering, science or technology to apply to IISC. Yes. These are just three of the master's degree which are accepted. Besides this, even if you have a master's degree in management, commerce, geography, psychology, agriculture, veterinary science, or you have a master's degree in operations research, computer applications, then also you can apply to the prestigious institute of IISC. Besides this, if you are an MBBS graduate, if you've completed your MD, if you've done your B Pharma or just simply your four years of engineering, then also you can apply to IISC's PhD program. However, besides this qualification, there's another thing which you will require. That is an eligibility examination. Now, IISC actually prefers students to have or to have qualified some kind of eligibility exam. Exactly which exam they want you to qualify, 
would depend on your past qualification and your future research areas that you are applying to. Yes, students who have done exemplary well, who have done extremely well in their past academics might be exempted. But as I said, they do prefer you to have an eligibility examination. So the working professionals watching this video, I'm sure that all of you want to know that does IASC offer a part-time PhD? Yes, it does. So it does offer, it does let the working professionals pursue a PhD while they continue working. If you want to know what are the qualifications that are required, so the qualifications are the same which we ha I have already mentioned in this video previously. If you have those qualifications along with at least two years of experience, then you can apply to the PhD program of IISC. Would you require an eligibility exam? Eligibility exam is not a compulsion, but definitely a preference. But please note that IISC is quite stringent when it comes to its coursework requirement and the document documentation that it requires from your employer. The next thing that we are going to discuss is an extremely unique thing to this uh, university. So IISC along with the regular PhD programs that I've just mentioned in this video also offers an integrated PhD course. For all those who do not know what integrated PhD course is, it is simply an integration of your, your PG and your PhD. And IISC offers an integrated PhD course in four areas of sciences. Number one is mathematical science. Number two is chemical science, physical science and biological sciences. You can be either a four year graduate or a three year graduate in sciences or engineering to pursue this integrated course. From here, we move on to the next extremely important fact about IISC that it provides you external sponsored fellowship from corporate houses. So in addition to your regular fellowship, IISC has tie up with many corporate houses like your Wipro, Philips, GE, Siemens and so on. And these corporate houses have listed that they would be providing additional fellowship to certain students who would be selected on the basis of merit and these students can get fellowship up to four times the regular fellowship amount if they are selected. This is all about IISC Bangalore, the best research institute in this country. If you are a working professional who wants to pursue part-time PhD or if you are a full-time student who wants more information about PhD from IISC or any other institute across India, then you can get in touch with me for a personalized mentoring session on the below number. Besides suggesting what kind of universities you can apply to, I can also discuss with you the research areas in which you can apply for a PhD. I can also guide you about how to choose suitable research areas. Besides this, I can help you, I can guide you and tell you how research proposals are written, how statement of purposes are written, how do you face a PhD viva and so on. So for a complete PhD mentoring session, you can get in touch with me on the number that I have just shared with you. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let us know what else we can tell you about PhD. This that's it from me. Thank you so much and have a great week ahead.